So yesterday's shill video was a huge success, and I had every intention of following it up with Kevin Smith as a shill, which I've written and prepared all the uh, parts for, but I ran across this piece of news that was sent to us by a fan, and it's almost too good to pass up right now. So this is from a tweet from Gavin Fang, and it reads, According to local media M-Time, official Chinese title of Solo A Star Wars Story is Ranger Solo, and Star Wars is abandoned in Solo's local title after Star Wars The Last Jedi flopped in China. So, I've covered it three times at this point. China doesn't like Star Wars. The biggest market, conceivably in the world, doesn't want anything to do with the biggest American brand of all time. So, fine. But I find it funny that they're still trying. I guess it's commendable at this point, you know. Uh, they always say, never give up, maybe your next try will succeed. So, maybe this film will be successful in China. But I find it funny that they have to take the Star Wars title off because it's essentially uh, box office poison at this point. Which is nice. It's nice to see them squirm a little bit over at Lucasfilm. Because here in America, they can, like I said, you could polish a turd, put Star Wars on it, and you're going to get a billion dollars in revenue. That's just the way America is. We eat that shit up. We love Star Wars as a country. A good chunk of the world loves Star Wars, except China. I know I've said it in the past, and I'll say it again. It just, it makes me laugh so much. It also makes me think, what about Solo A Star Wars Story do they think will work in China? I'm guessing it's because Solo A Star Wars Story may be more traditional, what we're used to. Maybe Han Solo won't be second fiddle to Amelia Clark. Boy, who am I kidding? Of course he fucking will be. It, they're basically setting themselves up for another failure. The last one didn't work, and that's going to have l less marketing than... Excuse me, this film will have less marketing than The Last Jedi, because that's always the way it seems to be. I felt like Rogue One had less of an advertising presence than The Force Awakens, and The Last Jedi had less of an advertising presence than The Force Awakens as well, too. It's weird to think they advertise these movies less now. Huh. That's a topic for another day, but I just wanted to tell you guys that they're changing the name according to this tweet, which I'll have in the video, obviously, and I found it funny. I'm really, really curious to what their thought process is right now. I'd, I'd like to think that Kathleen Kennedy is kind of like not prancing into work every day with her six out of eight girls and their high five and talking about whatever. They're doing some actual work, which sounds refreshing. If I'm going to be 100% honest, I would love for Solo a Star Wars Story to kick ass because Han Solo is my favorite character, but I'll be realistic and I don't see it happening anytime soon. So tell me what you guys think down in the comments below about this information. Does it make you laugh? Does it make you sad? Have you heard it? It's news to me. It came from a fan, which I'm not going to say his name, but if he would like to be mentioned, I'll shout him out on a later video and make him Listener of the Week on the podcast because I appreciate that sort of thing. But... At the same time, maybe he wants his privacy, which I don't want to invade. This Thursday night, we'll discuss this a little bit on the podcast. You know Dion's going to laugh at Disney's misfortune or bad decisions. I, what does Ranger Solo actually mean? It sounds like Walker, Texas Ranger. And I love that show, but I bet you they're not watching it in China the way we do in America. Ranger Solo. I think of either Space Ranger, like Buzz Lightyear, or the Power Rangers, which are Japanese. Solo Ranger. Or Ranger Solo. Goddamn. Solo Ranger actually sounds way cooler. I'm just blown away that Star Wars has to do this. I mean, I know some people are going to make the argument, well, uh, Captain America's called the first Avenger in other parts of the world, and the Avengers is called Avengers Assemble in Europe. Well, in Europe, the reason it's called Avengers Assemble is because there was a famous British TV show called The Avengers in... What, 62, 3? I guess the same time that the comic book was coming out in America, they had a show over there. And it had Honor Blackman, Diana Rigg, uh, Patrick McNee. Cool show. I mean, I don't think a lot of our audience would enjoy it because it's really dated, but it's a lot of fun for me. I love old James Bond and spy stuff, so if you're into that kind of stuff, check it out. And with Captain America, I understand because America's not the most loved country in the world. No matter who the president is at any time, there's going to be people out there that think of us as a certain way. That's fine. So from a marketing standpoint, they change Captain America to just the first Avenger because they think, oh, America won't sell. But the words Star Wars, I think it's translated in every other language. It's like Guerra de la Estrella or something in Spanish and Krieg der Sterna 
in German, and it's always Star Wars that's localized, and then the name of the film. So I guess this is a first for Star Wars. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments if they've ever changed the name of a Star Wars film for an international market. And uh, let me know your thoughts. Do you find it funny like I do? I mean, I could sit and laugh for 20 minutes if you wanted me to. Because I've laughed already. I got this information when I was out in public and I start cracking up. People are looking at me. I'm like, I can't explain it to them because they won't give a shit. But I knew as soon as I got back to the, the office and I could do this, that thousands of you are going to laugh at Disney's misfortune. Maybe tomorrow our good friend Scott Mendelson will have a new article up defending this decision. Oh, it's 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 so strong and brilliant for Disney. It's valiant. Their effort is valiant. One more time, Disney. Please, one more time. China will accept your film this time. Eh. What are they going to accept? Aaron Oldenreich, who is a nobody. Amelia Clark, who doesn't look enough like the Game of Thrones character that she plays without the white hair and shit. So maybe they won't pick up on that. Apparently, people in China don't like black people, so Donald Glover is not important. So basically... It would be interesting to see how they market this film. Is it just going to be Chewbacca the whole time? With his double bandolier strap that we saw from the Lego playset? Maybe. That would be an interesting thing. Have you noticed here in America that they only... Okay, not only, but when it's a non-movie year for Star Wars merchandise, and this has been like this since George Lucas was involved. Let's say it started in the after Revenge of the Sith. So, so late 05 through now... Whenever they like sell Star Wars merchandise that's not like a toy line or something, they always do Yoda, Vader, Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, characters that they don't have to pay a likeness a likeness fee or anything like that for. So I wonder if they're going to pull that approach in China. I don't know how they marketed The Last Jedi in China, if they used Rey a lot or they hid Finn. I know there was a poster for The Force Awakens that removed Finn, pretty sure, and I know there's a cut of The Last Jedi that removes all the women, and somebody asked me to talk about that, and I think there's no movie after that point. We'll find out in a couple months, because it's uh, four months away, less than four months at this point, and we'll see how they market this film. Are we going to get a big trailer at the Super Bowl? If we do, awesome. I'm going to watch the game. I'll have something to laugh at. And if they don't have it at the Super Bowl, are they going to attach it to Black Panther? I don't think you should, as a fan of Marvel, and a, a fan of Star Wars minus what Disney has produced, I don't really want to be remembered or reminded of the last film where I just left the theater angry again. Now, I left the last Marvel movie pumped, what was the last one, Thor? Admittedly, I like it less than I, I like it less now than I did then. But I still enjoyed it when I left the film. If all of a sudden I, you know, about faced on it, oh, it was garbage, blah, blah, blah. I didn't think it was garbage then. I had a good time. I left. Looking back, less impactful than I wanted it to. And I think it would be smart for Black Panther to get you primed for Infinity War. Don't... I know this sounds crazy, because I know there's there's other money or monetary things that I don't understand. But I think it would be cool if when you get to Black Panther, there's no trailers. The movie starts... You're, you're primed for this. And then when the movie ends, they do what they did at the end of Captain America, the first Avenger, and they give you a scene or something from Avengers Infinity War. That way, you're not thinking about a movie you'll see in a couple months. You're not thinking about a movie that comes out at the end of the year or something else. You're strictly thinking about Marvel and you're thinking about Black Panther, if you liked it or not, and what comes next. And I feel like Marvel would be smarter, Disney or whoever is really in charge of that, would be smart to keep people focused on that and then have Solo debut at the Super Bowl or something else. Because, remember, Star Wars has a different fan base than Marvel movies. There's a lot of older guys that grew up with Star Wars. while And while these Marvel characters were very prominent and readily available to them at a low price, they weren't reading the comics or they were reading sci-fi novels or maybe they were reading, oh, I don't think the old Gold Key or Dell or whoever pre or printed the old Star Trek comics were around in the 70s. But my point is, I think a bigger Star Wars audience will watch the Super Bowl than rush out to see Black Panther. Because while Black Panther looks fine, if you don't know the character, you may not go see it. I would venture to say that more people are invested in the Avengers brand, so they'll go see every Avengers flick and skip the ones in between. Maybe it's a money reason. Maybe they just don't care. 
why not have that maximum exposure? Because unless they're trying to hide Solo, like, completely, like, the movie just looks like dog shit, or it's unsalvageable, there's no reason to wait. Just, you know, it's like a Band-Aid. Just pull it off, get it over with. But we'll see in four months, or three months and some change, how truly terrible of a mistake Disney has made. This time. So that's it. Thanks for watching, folks. I really appreciate it. I just want to let everyone know the shill videos will continue. I've read the comments for the last one, and people are loving it. I hear Mundane Matt a lot. You guys want me to talk about Mundane Matt? Well, guess what? Mundane Matt talked to us first. <laughs> he was in the comments of the video. Uh, I, th I have a screenshot of it, which I'll put in his shill video down the road. I'm going to make him wait a little bit to keep him on his toes. And, um... Then he deleted it after a whole bunch of our fans kind of ripped into him. So, Monday and Matt, thank you for letting me know you watch our videos. But the Kevin Smith one is written. It has, like I said, all the images are ready, the video clips are ready, all the things are ready. But then I heard this, and at this point, we always try to give you, like, some Star Wars information as soon as we can. And uh, that's what we did. So... Uh, stay tuned for more World Class Bullshitters. We'll be back on Thursday night with the podcast. Kevin Smith's video will be up, up. I guess that will make that Thursday day. But it'll be up tomorrow. So be excited for that. And uh, if these shill videos continue to be as successful as the first one, where they're getting tons of views, tons of comment, people are reaching out to us for more, uh, we'll continue to make them until we've pretty much hit everyone that I would consider a shill. There's some people that you guys uh, have recommended that I don't think are shills. There are some that I think are shills that you don't, so there'll be an interesting uh, crossing over, and we'll see you know, if we can meet in the middle on some of these things. But it's going to be an exciting couple of months here on the channel. So thank you for watching. Thanks to all the new patrons who have joined today. I think we actually had a record amount uh, join Patreon today, and I really appreciate all that. And because of people like that and our uh, possible patrons, we're able to do more stuff like this. So 17 cents a day is like 5 bucks a month. You can really get a lot of cool stuff. Like I said yesterday, you get hours of new content a week, not just like uh, my undying love or some kind of respect. I give you shit at every level. You can get up to a T-shirt and a signed poster and all kinds of cool shit like that. Or for a buck, you can just get access to the digital stuff. But the $5 gets you the digital poster, uh, more interaction with us. And the higher you go, the more you can be involved with the channel. Hell, you can even be on the channel like our good friend Justin Beck has been. So, thank you for everyone who's watched this video. Share it. Give it a thumbs up. Tell everyone what you know about Star Wars a Solo Story. Excuse me. Solo a Star Wars Story now becoming Ranger Solo. It just doesn't roll off the tongue at all.